Hey, what is going on guys and girls? In today's video, I'll be doing a review of the newly released tool by Microsoft, which is called Designer. So Designer is a new tool which allows you to create content and graphics very quickly by leveraging AI. Essentially, it's a Canva alternative, so it allows you to generate images very quickly, but then you can also customize those images and add in your own touch like you would on Canva. So if you don't have access to Microsoft Designer, I'll leave a link for the waitlist in the description below this video. It is still in the beta mode so you do have to apply for the waiting list in order to get access to it so i was recently granted access so let's go ahead and do a full review of microsoft designer so the first thing that you'll notice is that it's very easy for you to start generating your content i did a review of the canva magic feature which is a new feature which allows you to input a prompt and you'll get an image based upon or you'll get a design based upon your prompt so first you want to describe the design in which you'd like to create so for example, if we would like to create an Instagram post, then we can describe what posts we would like to create. So this example will be creating an Easter egg hunt for an elementary school. And then once you describe your content that you are the designing which you would like to create, just go ahead and click generate. And as you can see here, you got some pretty um, decent designs that you can start working with. To be honest, some of these, you can just go ahead and simply use that if you like it. But if you wanted to, you can click on that design that you like the best and then further customize that design. But as you can see here, um, you get some pretty decent um, designs just by adding in a very simple input of what you're trying to design. So let's say you like this one the best. You would click on that design, click customize. And then as you can see here, now you have the full skill editor or designer, which allows you to do a variety of customizations. So we can click on any of the copy there and you can change that around. If you like to, you can change the background image. If you don't like it, you can replace it with a different image that's included in Microsoft designer. So if you want to change the eggs that's in the background, you can change it to this one. And then once you change it, you'll get some new ideas on the right hand side here. So it'll incorporate the new image and then give you new design ideas in which you can use. So pretty cool. But if you wanted to, um, you can just go back and undo that if you wanted to go back with the previous design in which you had. And again, on the right hand side here, you have some content or new design ideas in which you can choose from. So that is how you would change the background. You also have the ability to do effects. So you can add various effects like removing the background, blurring the background and adding some filters and a auto adjust feature, which is kind of similar to what's included in Canva. So you see a lot of um, very familiar features here on Microsoft Designer like you do see in Canva. But I think Microsoft Designer does a better job at generating um, images or designs based on inputs compared to Canva. And if you wanted to, you can actually go ahead and change the text as well. So there's a variety of different texts. Again, looks a lot like Canva. And in visuals, this is where you can add in photos, you can add in graphics, you can even add in videos, just dependent on um, what type of content you're creating. And as you can see here, you have some recommendation for this design. So if you wanted to use that, you can click on it and then that would be added onto your image. You can filter by shapes, illustrations, and icons. And of course, if you wanted to, you can always upload your image from your computer or your drive, and you can use that within um, your graphic or your content. And lastly, you have templates. So again, these are pre-built templates in which you can choose from. So if you don't want to use a prompt, you can just go ahead and use these um, pre-built templates and then create any image in which you like. And the main difference right now between Microsoft Designer and Canva is that Microsoft Designer is completely free. So I do think that they'll probably be adding in a plan or paid plan once it's out of its beta but right now it's completely free so if you join the waitlist and you get access to this you can um, use this for completely free use this for all of your content creation and then once a plan um, comes around or once it becomes paid then you can decide if you want to stick with microsoft designer or canva while i do think that there's some features included in canva that's not included in microsoft designer i do think that you get a lot of really um, useful features that allow you to do most of the things that you need to when it comes to creating graphics or content so when it comes to creating a new design you can also add an image so you can add an image from your device or from your laptop which allows the ai to know or the tool to know that you want to include that image within your graphic or which within your content so if you're creating a flyer maybe you want to include an image of your brand or your logo so you can upload that onto here another cool feature is the ability to generate an image so this will allow you to create your own unique image using an ai image generation feature to then use within your graphic 
So let's say for example, I wanted to include an image of a flock of birds in the shape of a heart. So we can see here that the designer is actually going out and creating that custom image for us. And once it's completed, as you can see, they did a pretty good job. We can then select that and that will now be used within our graphic or design in which we're creating. So let's say, for example, we wanted to create a Valentine's Day Instagram post for a restaurant having a dinner deal. And because we've uploaded that image, it'll actually go ahead and include that image within our design. OK, so here are the images that we get back. And as you can see, they're really, really well done. So, for example, if I take a look at this one here, this looks really good to condign Valentine's Day dinner. There's some hearts and they actually have that image in which we just created. So as you can see, it's really easy for you to create custom and unique images and graphics using designer. I don't think Canva has an AI image generation tool which allows you to input prompts and create custom images. So that is a really, really unique and useful feature included um, in Designer. So again, if we go ahead and look at these designs, these are really, really well done. And again, you can go ahead and just edit any of these and make it um, unique to your own branding. As you can see, we can change any of the colors. We can change any of the images. We even have some ideas on the right hand side here. If you want to completely change this design, uh, we have some ideas of other things in which we can do. So, for example, we can do a video. Um, we can do a different color theme. We can do a completely different design and so on. So as you can see, there's a variety of different ways and a variety of different features that you have included in Microsoft Designer that allows you to create the perfect graphic for any situation. Overall, I think this is a really, really good and useful tool. I think it combines some of the really useful features included in Canva, but also adds in some new unique AI features that allow you to create really high quality content quicker by leveraging AI. So if you haven't tried Microsoft Designer, then I recommend trying it out for yourself. Again, I'll leave a link for the waitlist in the description below this video. As always, I hope that you guys enjoyed today's video. If you did, let it be known by giving us a big thumbs up and subscribing to the channel if you haven't already. Until next time, stay well.